following Order 66 and the rise of the Galactic Empire, there were numerous rumors that circulated around the galaxy about the fate of the heroic Jedi Knight Anakin Skywalker. An official version of Anakin's death, as accepted by the Empire, was that he died a war hero on the planet of Mustafar. But for Imperials such as Grand Moff Tarkin, this explanation was hard to believe, since no body was ever located. Another rumor would see Anakin viewed as a heroic defender of the Jedi Temple. As understood by Republic officer Nick Rostu, Anakin was present at the temple, not in carrying out the attack, but fighting to protect the Jedi from the clone troopers of the 501st Legion. In fact, Anakin was the last Jedi standing, fighting until the end while attempting to save a group of younglings. Thus, Anakin's death and final actions of the war would be the subject of numerous rumors. But there was a single group that knew the true fate of Anakin Skywalker, including his actions within the temple during Operation Nightfall, and his true identity as Darth Vader. These of course were the members of the 501st Legion, who fought beside Vader in their attack against the Jedi. In the early months of the Empire, Vader and the 501st were dispatched to the planet of Kashyyyk. Having tracked a number of surviving Jedi to the planet, Vader would succeed in cutting down three of the four Jedi on Kashyyyk as the Empire invaded and began their enslavement of the Wookiees. In many ways, the Battle of Kashyyyk was an early example of the Empire's ruthlessness. After the battle, Emperor Palpatine was provided with the details of what happened upon Kashyyyk by Tarkin himself. As the Imperial Moth explained the Empire's successes in subjugating the planet, as well as killing and enslaving thousands of Wookiees, Palpatine gave his permission to transport roughly 200,000 Wookiees to the Death Star, to help aid in its construction as slaves of the Empire. But Palpatine was more concerned about his apprentice, asking Tarkin how Vader's authority and actions were being accepted not just by Tarkin, but also the Empire's fleet commanders. Although Tarkin found Vader to be extremely capable, he also had to admit another hard truth to the Emperor. The fleet commanders were not pleased by the presence of Vader. As explained by Tarkin, Vader was viewed with extreme suspicion, as no one really knew who he was or where he came from. They didn't only wonder who it was under the dark mask of the Sith Lord, but no one within the Empire really understood the true extent of his power, or how he ever came to be Palpatine's right-hand man, the go-between the Emperor, the regional governors, and the Imperial Navy. But even more important for Tarkin, the lack of information regarding Vader caused the creation of numerous rumors as to his true identity. While Tarkin hesitated to explain them, Palpatine wanted the Imperial Moth to speak freely and candidly. Tarkin would explain that the rumor suggested Vader was a former Jedi, who played an instrumental role in Palpatine's counterattack on the Order and their temple. Tarkin revealed there was even more. Given Vader's actions in slaughtering the Jedi at the temple, the rumors also suggested Vader had connections with the Sith. With many believing, Vader was the apprentice of Count Dooku himself, who now came to swear allegiance to Palpatine. Of course, unlike the rumors of Anakin's death on Mustafar, or his death in the defense of the Jedi Temple, this specific rumor was exceptionally accurate, connecting Anakin to the true identity of Vader, all but in name alone. Initially, it seemed as though this worried Palpatine, as the Emperor asked Tarkin where these rumors originated. Perhaps unsurprisingly, but still just a great reveal within the legend's lore, Tarkin explained that as he was able to best determine, the rumors about Vader's identity began among the Special Operations Legions that attacked and secured the Jedi Temple during Order 66, the 501st Legion itself. This explains why the rumors were so accurate. And one has to believe that the name Anakin Skywalker was attached to the rumor as well, with Tarkin perhaps holding back the name from Palpatine. But regardless, it was clear the members of the 501st Legion were not keeping the true identity of Vader a secret, revealing to others within the Imperial Navy that Vader was a former Jedi who likely fell to the dark side and now pledged his loyalty to Palpatine. Believing Palpatine may want to keep Vader's true identity a secret from those within the Empire, Tarkin offered to pursue the matter further, putting an end to the rumors surrounding Vader. However, Palpatine firmly told Tarkin not to pursue the matter, and to let the rumors continue. The Dark Lord was not concerned about who knew what regarding Vader, and the fact that these details were only rumors was even better. 
All Palpatine was concerned about was whether Vader was obeyed, and as Tarkin confirmed, the Imperial officers understood completely that Vader was to be obeyed as if his commands were those of Palpatine himself. Therefore, within Legends, the 501st Legion clearly knew that Anakin Skywalker had fallen to become Darth Vader through their joint attack on the Jedi Temple, recognizing the connection despite the addition of Vader's armor and cybernetics. Even more, some members of the 501st chose not to keep this knowledge to themselves, telling those within the Imperial Navy what they knew. However, following the rise of the Empire, despite the fact that they were entirely correct, their account of who Vader truly was was seen as one of many rumors regarding the identity of Palpatine's most trusted enforcer. So there we have it, how the 501st Legion attempted to reveal Vader's true identity. We love making these videos, so why not subscribe for more fun Star Wars theories and discussions. Also, if you enjoyed the video, think about giving a like or leaving a comment. Or perhaps follow us on Twitter, at SW Reading Club, for updates regarding the channel. Or support the channel through Patreon, for access to exclusive rewards and discussions. If not for me... For Vader's Fist.